right, so Black Magic Woman by Fleetwood Mac, played by the great Peter Green. And I'm making this video just a few days after Peter Green has passed away, so it's kind of my tribute to him. Because um, he is such a great guitar player, um, one of those guys that's not really flashy. <laughs> he's not flashy in any way, but amongst guitar players, he's very influential just because he's so tasteful. And he really is a great blues player, very expressive, and um, just could make the guitar talk, you know, just, just awesome. Anyways, if you click that eye in the corner up there, or the link in the description box for the first pinned comment, it'll take you to my website. And um, I'll leave an article there, I always do an article on these songs that I teach. Um, and uh, just a bunch of interesting things about the artist or the recording. But in this case, I'll put a link to a really interesting article about his guitar and how he had the pickups wired out of face. Um, really cool, big part of his sound. Anyways, let's get on with this. Let's start with the rhythm. It's just a basic minor blues progression. So it's in D minor, right? But the rhythm guitar is in drop D. So we're gonna get that low E string and drop it down to a D. Because there's that one leg. Right? It's so awesome. And you need to be in drop D to do that. Actually, when we start, we're gonna be up here, which is just this D minor, right? Root third, root minor third and fifth, but we're way up here on the um, 19, 18, 17. And if you hear my sound, I've got some tremolo in that. And then the singing starts. Yeah, the black magic one. We're going to the A minor there. Now, you can't play that note, obviously, because we're in drop D. So you could, if you wanted, you could get it there and just play the A minor like that, muting out that D string. Or you could play it down there. Or what I did is I just played it without the bottom note. Because, you know, when you're playing with a bass player, you don't need it. In fact, a lot of times, it'll just muddy things up. So, D minor. G minor. And then the turnaround is D minor, C, B flat. A, D minor. And then we do that leg. Which is just awesome. I just love that. Um, so it's just a bend on D5 and then D3 and open. Open A, E3, open E, which is a D now, right? All right. And then that comes in again. And then the whole thing just repeats. And it's really just that over and over. Um, the second time before the guitar solo. We just play that straight D minor. You can you let that vibrato go on it, right? And that's the guitar solo. It's exactly the same over that. So the only other thing in the rhythm is the ending, which is... Uh, Right? So good. Just love that part. Um, so it's just, a, you know, it's D minor. D minor, D minor 7, right? And we just a little upstroke on that. Then just that little lick on the A string and D string. And that just fades out and that's it for the rhythm okay now I'm just gonna change my sound over and we'll get into the leads all right so I switched over to my lead sound and all I've done is turn the tremolo off and put my pickup switch in the middle here all right and um, we're gonna start like this 
And then it's just a series of fills until the guitar solo, right? So I'll just go over those. Got a black magic woman. That's the first one. Like, I'm not going to call a lot of frets on this because it's dead simple, right? We're, we're in that uh, first position minor pentatonic. That's your second one. Got a black magic wound, got me so blind I can't see. You know, stuff like that is so simple, it's so subtle, but it's so perfect. And she's a black magic woman and she's trying to make a death. And then he goes. He does that on the vocal, right? And she's a black magic woman and she's. So that's just, we're thinking that, right? Turn your back on me, baby. Okay, that's the first fill of the second verse. Turn your back on me, baby. Really super simple, but so... Uh, perfect. It just fits the song. Um, then, back on me, baby. Just that D minor chord, and then we kind of hammer on that B11 from B9 or B10. So, back on me, baby. Stop messing around with your tricks. And then we just do it's G minor. So we we do that G minor arpeggio. And then it's okay, and um, you know he's gonna then come in like that, just fade in that D minor, right? And then we get into the solo, and the solo is gonna start here. All right, so we're you know we're in those positions. That's like position two, right? If you go all the way down. But generally, a lot of guys will we just use that little box right there in position two. Then that's position five, right? Generally, we're just going to use those four notes. So I'm not going to call out a frets again because that's the whole thing's right there. Then I love that leg. You could do it that way, but I think he's doing it that way. It just tumbles really nicely, right? Then. Right there now. And every note has a bit of flavor. <laughs> you know, like, there's no notes that don't have something on them. All right. It's just awesome playing. G minor, we do that arpeggio again, but when we go down, we're going to play this note, right? We're just going to play the A note. So, you know, a lot of um, guitar teachers and players will say play the notes in the chord, and you can't go wrong playing the notes in the chord, but, you know... That's the notes of the chord, that's the notes of a G minor. But when we come down, we're still on G minor, but he's gonna go. So, you know, he's adding that. That's a ninth. So 
so he's adding, he's making that a G minor ninth. You know, by, by not playing a note in the chord, you're making a new chord. In this case, G minor nine. And whether or not he knew that when he was doing it, I probably don't think he did. Don't think he really cared. He's just playing what he was hearing in his head, right? And that's just classic blues. Putting that vibrato on there, right? So. talking too much here, I'm not calling too many frets, because I think it's counterproductive. I think if you just watch what I'm doing, um, you, you'll get it. But, it, you know, you have to learn the phrases, right? Now we're heading into the second part of the solo, and we're going to go. And we're, we're doing that, but we're extending it. So. And that, that, I think it's one of my favorite licks. And then pre-bend with the vibrato. every note then to finish off just beautiful just great phrasing you know to me the key in being a good lead guitar player it's not speed I mean I'm not against speed I love speed it's great you know it's flashy and it's awesome like Gary Moore um, had that element of flash and speed, right? But you don't need it. If you play the right notes with good phrasing, you know, it, 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 that's all you really need to do. And the great guitar players all have that. All right, let's do that whole solo. So, a little slower. just beautiful such tasteful playing and then and he just throws in these these really subtle licks and that you know that is such classic blues
And then, you know, that, that little phrase there, one, two, three, four, four note phrase just speaks volumes to me. You know, that is so much more powerful than playing a ton of notes. Because that just says something, right? And then, you know, it's same lick, octave lower. And then, this little double stop there. Just beautiful, classic um, blues licks. But that's one of my favorites. Yeah, so good. Anyways, that's it for the solo. Um, and, of course, we've done the rhythm already, so that's it for the song. I hope you get something out of it. I hope you enjoy playing it. I hope this lesson helps you learn some of those just awesome feel licks of his. And, uh, yeah, we'll talk to you next time.